Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and we're going to extend our previous uh, YouTube uh, demonstration of making an SWF and put that into Flex. So let's do a quick review here and show you where we're at. So today we're going to learn about Flash, Flex, and the SWF loader, and we're going to use a previous YouTube, and that YouTube is www.youtube.com forward slash watch question mark B equals IR9YLYXAH6M. So Good luck typing that into your browser. So let's take a look at that uh, SWF that we created. And you notice that as you scroll along the scrub bar, it changes color. And then you scroll and it gets bright again. Now, you have to have your stop statements right in the frame that you're in. So you st this immediately, when it plays in the SWF loader, will stop. And when you hit a play action, it will play to the next frame and stop because that's where your frame action is. And then when you hit uh, play again, it will go all the way to the end and then back to the beginning and stop. So uh, when you have an SWF, it continually loops, of course. So now we're actually going to take this SWF. We've actually published it, and already did a control test. And let's open it up and take a look at it. I'm going to go to wherever I saved my button, and there's my button SWF. And if I click on that, you can see indeed the SWF plays, but there's nothing happening because it stops on frame one. We want to change that. We want to bring that into Flex, and the way to do that is to use an SWF loader. Now the SWF loader is the simplest. Uh, control you can have. I mean, and then you, from there you're going to go to embedding and then to using Swix where you need to have classes. We're going to show you the simplest technique today and in upcoming tutorials we'll talk about embedding and creating Swix. So in order to get the flash file to play in Flex, you must use the SWF loader. Uh, but when you do that you lose the events and data model. Uh, but you still have control of the timeline. But in order to have control of the timeline you must reference the flash document as a movie clip and then you can control it using the content property. So here's just an example. I have a variable I called flash movie uh, movie clip equals button one, for example, dot content as a movie clip. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and now and actually do this in Flex. So I'm gonna bring Flex up and we're gonna add our SWF to Flex. Okay, we're in Adobe Flex right now. We're gonna create a project to put our uh, Swift in. So let's right click on the blank screen and just go new and select Flex project. And we'll just call it uh, My Project SWF. And just hit Finish. So we've created the My Project SWF, and we want to add an Assets folder to it. So let's right-click on it and click on uh, New Folder. And we'll just call that Assets. Hit Return. And what I want to do is drag the uh, button SWF from the icons folder. So I'm going to move over here. And one of the great things about Adobe Flex is you can drag and drop from different folders. So I'm going to, here's my, uh, here's my button one. I'm going to drag that right into the assets folder. And then we have it. We're done with that. Uh, we can click out of that and go back to Adobe Flex. And now we're going to start doing some programming. So click over here. I'm going to open this up a little bit. Now I want to go to Design View, and I want to drag out the SWF loader. And I need the Components uh, panel, so I'll click on Components. And I can just drag out an SWF right onto the stage. And so here's my SWF loader. Let's drag that out to the stage. I don't need that anymore, so let's click out of that. And I want to make sure I'm clicked on that, because I'm going to go to Flex Properties, and I'm going to pull in that Buttons Assets. So in the Flex Properties view, as long as I have that activated, the uh, SWF loader, I can click on the folder and I can go right to where it's stored. SRC, Assets, and click on button 1. And now you can see I've indeed loaded that SWF. As I need to give it an ID name so I can work with it, turn it into a class. So I'm going to give it an ID name. I'm going to call it, um, excuse me, give it an ID name to turn it into a movie clip. So I'm going to call it uh, My SWF Test. Cool. And I'll go ahead and uh, go with that. And now we're ready to go in and actually do some programming on the source side. We've done everything we can do with drag and drop with the MXML, and now it's time to put in some action script. So I'm going to come along here, and I'm going to open up a, an action script panel. And uh, let's go ahead and open up some action script. So MX script. And close that. And now you have the CD data tag. Uh, holders and we're going to start putting in some code here. Okay, now we're going to add some functions to the program 
to actually uh, work with this SWF. So we come down here and we take a look at the SWF loader. And the most important thing here, of course, is going to be the ID name. You've got to reference that somehow. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, let's go back up to the script block and let's uh, paste in a function. So this function is going to be the rollover clip. So when I roll over uh, the uh, SWF, I want it to play. And so first thing I need to do is actually uh, create a name. I'll call it Flash Movie and make a movie clip out of it, instantiate it. And we're going to reference that to the my SWF test. That's the SWF loader below. There's my SWF test. Using the content property and declare it as a movie clip. So we're good. And then all we have to do is take that flash movie that we declared and hit play. And it should work. So let's test this and see what happens. So we're going to control, control test this movie. But before we do, we have to do one more thing. We have to actually put it in the actual SWF loader. So come down here and uh, let's go after ID and put in a space. You see all the properties and methods that uh, appear here in the, the, uh, in the uh, helper here. And we're going to look for roll over. So let's look for that. And there's the uh, roll out. Here's the roll over. Click on that. And we want to put that function in there. Let's go up and get that function real quick. And that is roll over clip. Let's copy that. I like to copy and paste a lot of my assets name or function names so I don't actually make a typing error. So let's paste that in there. And let's test this and see how well it works. And there's my clip. I want to roll over it. Hey, it changes. That's great. But when I roll out, nothing happens. So I need to create the rollout function now. This is basically going to do the same thing, except now I have some code in there to work with. I'm going to come along here and copy that code. And then we'll paste it. And I'll call it rollout. And that's all I need to do because I want to do the same thing when I roll out. I want the movie to play. So let's take that function and copy that. Go down to the SWF loader and put a space in there and we'll put a roll out. Let's find that uh, method. There it is, roll out there, double click there, and let's paste our function in there. All right, we're good to go, let's test that. So I roll over, and I roll out, I roll over, roll out, and it's doing great. Let's do a click function here. When I click, let's make the movie clip rotate. So let's do work on that now. So I'm going to come along here, and I'm going to cut and paste the code right here. Let's copy it, and let's paste it. And I'm going to call this, um, just call it click on. Click on clip and just for no better name. And what we want to do basically is have it rotate. So if I come along here and just put a period, all my assets will occur and I can see start typing R and I see rotation, just click on that. I want that to be a plus equal 90 degrees. So whenever I click on it, it adds another 90 to it and rotates it further. So let's test this and see how it works. But before we do, we've got to take this function here and put it down in the SWF loader. So let's move down to the SWF loader. Make some space here. Let's look for that click function, CL. There it is right there, double click. And it puts everything in there for me, even the uh, parenthesis. And I'll just paste my function in there, my click on clip function. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I don't see any errors there. So let's control test and see what happens. So now when I roll over, roll out, that works. So when I click, uh, it starts to rotate. Now it's rotating out of the screen, so let's move it a little bit. Go back to design view. Just move it down a little bit so we're not rotating out of the screen. Let's control test again. Click on that, click on that, click on that, click on that. Pretty cool. And that's how you put an SWF into a flex file and control it using ActionScript.